Hi, this is Chong. Knowing your patient's monitors is a key to achieve desired outcomes in simulation training. For instance, in this Philip Hartstad XL Plus defibrillator and monitor, the beeping is linked to ECG rhythm. While for GE Care Scape Monitor B450, peeping is tied to SPO2. In contrast, for Lip Patient Monitor, the peeping is associated with SPO2 monitoring as well. With variable audio features between patient's monitors, how can the lip monitor's beeping complement your performance in your next simulation training? This video will be introductions of monitor audible cues in healthcare simulations. Parameters alarms is more than warning or crisis alarms. Two methods to acknowledge these alarms are to trigger silent or alarm pause for two minutes. However, patient's monitor speaks more than these alarms. In states, this beeping form crucial parameters monitoring when continuous visual observation is not feasible. Audible cues reflect the parameters' fluctuations in simulation training. This is the peeping of ECG complex. It gives way to SPO2 peeping in lip patient's monitor. This is the SPO2 or saturation waveform. It reflects both perfusions and respiratory status with numeric percentage, graphic waveforms and audio peeping. A peep here is linked to each SPO2 peak or pulse. Thus, change in heart rate means variations in peeping frequency. There are three key points of relying SPO2 peeping for audio monitoring. One, SPO2 peeping frequency reflects pulse rate. Observed its peeping frequency has ECG raised from sinus parity to sinus tachy. Two, SPO2 peeping tones reflects the saturation level and oxygenation status. Note the SPO2 tone changes has the saturation drop to 65%.
3 SpO2 is influenced by the perfusion as well. Note SpO2 tone gives way to ECG pitch has the arterial BP crush. Thus, SPO2 peeping makes audio monitor possible when continuous visual observation is not practical. For instance, when performed physical assessment or administrations of medications. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.